gorgeous day here on the beach. I am in Rhode Island with my niece Stephanie. <laughs> and behind me is Bricer playing in the sand. And today is all about a great clam bake, a fabulous menu coming up. And it all starts off with steamers. I'm going to serve them with shallots and white wine. They're going to be seasoned to perfection. And then poppy seed coleslaw. It is so easy to make and super delicious, especially for a summery side dish. Next up, I have halibut tacos with peach salsa. They are so impressive that your guests will think you spent hours, but they only take minutes. And what is summer without shortcake? I've got a delicious sunset shortcake that you are going to love. And of course, I can't forget about cocktail time. I've got a watermelon fizz that is so refreshing. You are going to think this is pretty fabulous. I'm Sandra Lee. Welcome to Semi Homemade. Yum. I have just a couple really important things I need to share with you before these go in or before you cook them at home yourself. First of all, it's super important that you clean them really, really well. Also, I like to take the beards off of them. Some restaurants do, some don't, but I love to take the beards off them because this right here, this gritty part, you gotta just pull this right like that. Ooh, and he's tough. And you can, you know they're alive. When you tap on them, they'll shut right back up. If they don't shut back up, you need to discard them. Super important. So I'm gonna pop these right into my shallots, leeks, and wine. I cannot share with you how good this smells. And now to this, I'm gonna put the lid on and let these babies cook up. Yum. I want to show you a great trick to do on the grill. Now you need to oil your grill when you're working with fish. And what I like to do is just take a kitchen towel, roll it up nice and tight, just like this. So you have this nice little round part here. And that is great for absorbing oil and getting that onto your grill. See how much that retains? And you just go right on your grill. And that just keeps whatever you're cooking from sticking. I love being outside. Don't you just love outside the ocean or if it was lake, that would be great too. You're in your bathing suit, a sundress, you're relaxed. I cannot wait for that watermelon fizz. Yum. Welcome back to Semi Homemade. I'm just taking my halibut off of the grill. Look at how good this looks. It's going to make the best fish tacos ever. I want to pop this down for just a second. I also want to get my, uh, my wonderful tortillas off here. Be careful with these. They are nice and warm exactly how I like them. You can see the steam coming off of them. Woo, woo, that's some beautiful things here. Okay, I'm gonna lay the tortillas down. They're very, very warm, so be careful. Just lay two or three of them out here. Whatever you can get on your plate. I'll make some more later on, but I wanna show you how to build these really quickly. Super simple. All I'm gonna do is just take a fork and just kind of flake these just a little bit. Look at how gorgeous that, just like that. Now that is a fish taco. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside for just a second back to Semi Homemade. I'm Sandra Lee and I've got a great cocktail for you today. We're out here by the ocean, it is so beautiful. All that fabulous food, which you see the tablescape, but I need cocktail time. So this is a fantastic cocktail called a watermelon fizz. Really easy to do, just put ice in your blender. Then I've already cut up some watermelon. That's all you have to do, that goes in here next. Okay, now to this, I just wanna add a splash of lemon lime concentrate or limeade and just a teaspoon of sugar, just to make sure it's nice and sweet, which it will be. Then I'm gonna add club soda. Be careful with that, don't shake it before you pour it or open it and fill that up to about there. And then I'm just gonna add some melon vodka to this. About two, three shots is good. And we're ready to turn on the blender. This is a very quick cocktail. Now I'm just gonna pop this into my glass. You can garnish with two things, by the way, either a sprig of mint, which would be delicious, or I even like to put just a strawberry on the side of the glass, just like this. Come with me, because I wanna show you a great tablescape. A great beach tablescape, perfect for my menu. Now let me share with you what I've done here on the table. 
first of all, the tablecloth. This is just fabric from the fabric store. You know how I like to do this. And I've even just left the edges just like they are. That's fine, you don't have to finish them. Nice coral pattern, but anything at all will do, even a nice starch white. Then I took faux coral and just paint them bright red in the garage. These are gorgeous on top of here. Then I just put red taper candles next to those. And these are pretty little coral bookends for my table. But what's really bookending this table are these fabulous votive candles with burgundy color candles inside. These candles, by the way, they are citronella. So I don't even have to worry about those bugs coming and bothering us at the end of the day. But if you don't want to spend the money on pretty little votive candles, you can get little tiny ice buckets like this, really inexpensive, like a dollar or two at the craft store. Put your candles in here, then you have a nice collection that you can use anytime you want. Now, the place settings are just regular plates with a nice red band around them. But look at what I'm using for my napkin ring. This is just a beautiful coral bracelet, and everybody has something to take home with them to remember this day by. Now, all these great recipes are available on Food Network's website, so log on and download them, and you can have any of these great dishes on your table in no time. And until next time, I hope you remember to keep it simple, keep it sweet. Yum.